What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday and it also happens to be my rest day. But as always, I started the day with around 600 milliliters of water. Then I made my homemade organic fat burner which consists of organic apple cider vinegar and you can see if it's organic if it has that sludgy look so you shouldn't be able to see through it like you would be if you were looking through a glass and also some lemon juice and water then I mixed that and drank it and yes you can count that as something like a homemade organic recipe for a fat burner but with a lot of other health benefits. It's not that bad. Ooh. However, I told you that today is my rest day, so that technically means that I should not be training, but practically I am going to hit the gym. It is gonna be abs and cardio and I am going to record the abs training and break it down for you and give you some of my best tips so that you can get one step closer to the six pack. Of course I said one step closer because the diet is essential to seeing your abs. As you can see I have achieved great results with only training my abs three days a week and not six or seven because more than three days a week is just excessive in my opinion because your abs just like every other muscle in your body need time to recover because otherwise they will not improve. Alright everyone, without further ado, let's just jump onto the workout and I'ma see you at the gym. Alright everyone, I arrived at the gym and I apologize for the bad lighting from now because I am in something also known as the cardio section in my gym and here I'm doing my abs training. So the lighting is not so good because the philosophy around here is who the hell does apps? Ain't nobody got time for that. We're gonna start with the workout, but I'm gonna do a voiceover so that you can hear me and let the voiceover start right now. Welcome to the voiceover everyone. Wow. Wow. The tricep though. Anyways, I always start my videos, I mean my workout videos with some stretching, I don't know why I'm doing it, maybe it's because I want to prompt you that you should always start with some stretching and warm up, but however, I hope you already know that and I don't need to do it every time. So this right there is called the cover stretch and it is an amazing stretch, especially for our abs and after all today we're doing a workout for our abs, so I definitely recommend you to try it and tell me how it feels in the comment section down below. Now to the workout, as you can see we're starting off with some incline sit-ups and we're doing 4 sets till failure and the reason for the undefined rep range is that I want you to execute the exercise as properly as you could because that way you can really feel it in your abs and feel the burn and today our goal is to train our abs in a different, in a better way. Now a very common mistake that I've seen a lot of people doing is that they're going all the way up and what are we doing all the way up we're just resting and we don't want to rest, we want to keep our abs under constant tension and we can achieve that by doing short range movements like I'm doing here and also you can see that when I'm doing the exercise my back is hunched throughout the whole movement and what this does is it helps me to engage my abs even more I didn't put any time limitations for the rest but however I think that this is just not necessary because everybody should rest as much as they need and not for a certain period of time that has been defined earlier and personally I am resting around 4 seconds between the sets of my abs training but this is just because it's enough for me 
and if it's not enough for you just rest more and if you want to make it even more challenging and feel the burn even more then just rest less all right moving on to exercise number two which is russian twists and we're doing four sets of 20 reps per each side and as you can see i'm using a kettlebell but if you want you can use a dumbbell or a plate whatever you have in hand but if you don't have anything and if you're a beginner especially don't use any weight just focus on the proper form and focus on the contraction as well but don't think that only applies for the beginners because it applies for everyone you should all focus on the form and on the contraction and the next exercise is going to be a plank and if you're more advanced you can use a plate like i'm doing right here but if you're not just please focus on the right form again and do it properly and of course again it applies for both sides what i mean by bad form is here here and here these pictures are examples for a bad form for a plank so don't do these mistakes please try to keep your body in a straight line like it is here and keep it that way for the whole time keep in mind that the rule for rest as much as you need applies for the plank as well because it is somehow a compound movement which means that it will engage your shoulders your legs and of course your core and some other body parts and you will need a bit more time to recover from it and to restore your strength for the next set so rest as much as you need all right moving on to cable crunches and i have seen many people doing that exercise wrong and why is that well in my opinion they're using way too much weight which is not necessary because that way they're moving it with their whole body and not only with their abs but as you can see here I'm trying to keep my hips stationary and to move the weight or to lift it of course only with my abs and not with my whole body and as you can see I'm trying to bring my elbows to the middle of my hips to contract the abs really really good and when I'm at that position I mean the contraction the very contraction here I am exhaling and when I'm dropping the weight slowly of course I am inhaling and also something very important here try to really extend your abs at the top of the movement and this will happen by leaving yourself go with the rope as much as possible but don't take your knees off the ground uh, let's get ready to rumble i'm sexy and i know it um no explanation for that there are just people who are telling me that the gym is not fun how do you explain this? Just a little prompt for you to know that the gym is not an obligation, it is fun and you should always extract the best from everything. However, let's leave that aside, the next exercise on the list is flutter kicks and we're doing 3 sets of 20 kicks per leg. And a little tip here, if you want to engage more of your abs, make sure that there isn't any space between your lower back and the ground because that way your core will be activated throughout the whole movement. Alright everyone, that it is for today's abs workout, I really hope you enjoyed it and you will give it a try because it is an amazing workout and I really hope you will like it. Also I'm very intrigued if you like these workouts, I mean with explanation or you prefer workout montages. Tell me in the comment section down below and let me know. Now let's get back home. Now there is only one thing to say here and this is that some of you will probably ask me why isn't that 8 minutes abs workout, 7 minutes abs workout or whatever it is that is very intensive and it is performed in a very short period of time. In my opinion these are good but come on now, you don't have any rest between the exercises and when you're doing your last exercise from that 7 minutes abs workout you are doing it with a very poor form and therefore you're doing nothing and the exercise is just pointless you're just swinging around and doing nothing this is why i'm doing a whole workout because that way i have decent rest between my exercises and sets and this way i've got energy to perform the exercise properly but again if you don't have any time and your only option is seven minutes abs workout do it instead because it is still better than nothing but if you've got time I definitely recommend you to try 
a workout that is just basic, I mean a whole workout and not a 6 minutes workout. Why am I still doing that? Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash the like button and if you've got any questions and if you try the workout, of course you need to try it. DO IT! Tell me how it feels in the comment section down below. JUST DO IT! And also, don't forget to subscribe and join the team and don't forget to turn the notifications bell so that you can see my upcoming videos. That lighting is awful. However, that was the whole video. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to smile, don't forget to be positive, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next one.